Right, big game today. Hibs Hearts. Massive. Massive, massive game. Fight for top six. Uh, we're going to do the intro a little bit earlier, considering cool. it's going to be packed in the stadium. You're not here, us. <laughs> and the police are escorting fans down, so it's going to be a bit of a nightmare. But we're not going to go with predictions, simply because anything will do. We've been waiting three years. <laughs> uh, Boxing Day 2019, last time Hibs beat Hearts. 2-0 at Tynecastle. So we're waiting this for a long bloody time. So it's a big day to do it as well. Big because game. It'll essentially determine our place in the split. Exactly. So one hands. Welcome. Limbs went everywhere. Right. Limbs, bodies. Aye. Well, Hibs won 1 0, if you haven't guessed by the video <laughs> and the smiles on our faces. Uh, I'll be honest, the game's a bit of a hazy situation for me because. Yes. Keep in mind that this is pure reaction. Yeah. This is so. pure reaction straight after the game, so. I think the emotions are taking over and we can't really remember much, but we'll try and get through some of it. Yeah. Um, the game started and I thought for the minute go to the 90th minute, I don't think there was a team that wanted it more than us. We were all over them. All over them. Then, but even when they tried to push out, we were straight on them, closing down the spaces, getting the ball. Now, didn't get me wrong, there was only a handful of chances in the first half. Yeah. But it was the manner and how it we were was, playing. It was a very tight first half, yeah. and even though not a lot happened, it was a very tense situation to watch at the yeah. time. I think it's just it's the fact that we showed the heart that we did today. That's what got me. It's like finally, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and what a time of day it is! What a time. <laughs> uh, we were just on the train there, and respect to our Hearts fan, a uh, young boy. Uh, he. I didn't want to admit Hibs were the better team, but he did, <laughs> which is fair play to the boy, yeah, because I, I don't think I could do the same, so <laughs> not fair play to him, um, but what I will say is going into the second half, I thought we needed to keep the gear going, Yeah. Um, and we were getting more and more chances in the second half, Cadden just hit one wide, Nisbet hit one wide, they was hitting all, like they were scrambling about half the time. Oh aye, there was many pile ups of people um, trying to get the ball. But before we go into the goal, I would like for somebody not being a biased Hearts fan, let's just try and get like a wee bit of sensibility here. There was two challenges in that first half. For love nor money, can I understand how both of them won the yearly cards, but the referee didn't even give the second one. The first one was Shankland rugby tackled Marshall, so he couldn't have started the counter attack with Yuan. How the hell in God's green earth is that not a yellow card? Especially with how protected, as people say, goalkeepers are, you'd think that beaten, well, at the same time it's beaten, but you'd think you'd be on that. And uh, that second one, when Yuan was, he beat, well, he had Atkin in his back pocket all day. Um, he was forced to drag him down to slow him down. Literally dragged him down by the shot. And beat and just play on. Now, I've said to Sean during the match, I says, I'm all for referees letting things go and letting the game play. All for it. It's a physical game. That's how it should be. But there's certain tackles that you go, like, come on. Yeah. Like, like shirt pulling, like I said, like I said in the game, shirt pulling is a universal foul in any yeah. sport. 
It's just maybe except hockey. I mean, oh. they're, they're legal to punch each other at I times, think... but <laughs> the point still stands. Most sports will say, "Don't pull the shirt." It's Aye. Well, well, we were fizzing at half time for that reason only. Aye. But uh, second half starts, and we've done the same thing. We kept on going at them, and I thought, great, this is what we needed. Yes. Just keep the momentum going. And uh, I'll be honest. None of us remember the goal. I can't remember the goal. <laughs> we remember that it happened. I saw it hit the net, and then just bodies were going everywhere. <laughs> I had some boy who I've never met before at the side, I was giving him big cuddles. <laughs> Sean jumped on me without me being ready for it, and me and him were falling over the seats. I almost broke my fucking foot trying to protect him. So, no. Both landed on. Well, I landed on my Oh, uh, yeah, anyway. he landed on his ass. I was the one that was trying to, like, make sure I didn't land on him. <laughs> but, no. See, but that's what it's about. When your team scores against your biggest rivals, and you win a match. And it's there is not, no feeling like there's it. There's no feeling like it. And plus, it was more than just a derby day to day. It was a big game table wise as well. And as we speak right now, Livingston are winning 2 0 at Living, uh, against St Johnston, which means it will come down to the last game before the split to whether we're going to get top six or not. The hope but, was that Livingston just didn't win because. Uh, any other result bar a win. Because <laughs> even if they ended up with drawing and we lost last week and they win, they'll be leveling points with us, but their goal difference is really poor compared to ours, so we still get top six. Yeah. But it doesn't look like it's going to be, so it looks like it's going to come down to St Johnston. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Nisbet got the goal. Um, looking forward to seeing it. <laughs> to remember it. <laughs> I just remember it hitting the roof of the net and then pandemonium happened. Yep. And it then... Was... That was us until the end of the game. Um, Pretty much. Uh, but I think overall, if you had to be honest with yourselves, we did deserve to win that match. Heartedly, wholeheartedly. There was no even a question. Yeah. Um, I don't think I've seen Hearts play that lethargic in a long time. I mean, we're I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm grateful of it. <laughs> Especially now of all times. Yeah, but... I'm absolutely grateful for it, but <laughs> I've just never seen it. But uh, uh, what we'll say, we'll go on to. Uh, do you want to do the man of the match? Should you, you, you know who my man of the match is? Because yeah. I was blowing his horn all the way through. I was like, this guy is here in the game of his life. But if you had to choose somebody, who would it be? Or would you go the same route as me? Oh. Nisbet and Yuan mm. were all over the park. Uh, Nisbet got the goal. Nisbet did get the sponsors man of the match, just to let you know. Nisbet did get the sponsors man of the yes. match. And but this is Fan TV's <laughs> man of the match. It's much more prestigious. <laughs> yeah, so you said it was Joe Nil, right? My pick was Joe Nil. I <laughs> think for the first whistle, he was all over that pitch. He was getting in every tackle. He was not letting anybody move. For me, that has been the best Joe Nil performance in a Hibs top. Period for me because the the passion that he had in that game was second to none. So, to be fair, I, you couldn't fault anybody in that match. Yeah, it's not like anybody. Played bad. I'm not sitting here going, oh, he played bad, he played bad, he played bad. Okay. No. Every one of them played out their skin. CG Egan Riley, you just said you and Nisbet, right, Jimmy Jago done well. But to me, nil blew out of the war. Blue the water for me. Yeah. You, I take it you're going with Newell as well, or? It would have to be between Newell and Yuan because Yuan was up in the pitch. He got a few pretty good interceptions. He was always threatening up at the wing. Mm. You knew when he got the ball that something was going to happen. There's just a sense of excitement in general when <laughs> Yuan gets the ball. He's just something special. He's just. But um, we need to sign him up. We need to sign him up. It's. I think we will. I think you'd be absolutely stupid not to. Right. But he's... To, to make sure that happens, we need top six and hopefully try to get into Europe because the more money that generates will pay for that kind of transfer. Yeah. Um, but, like, at the end of the day, I know this is short and sweet, but our memories have went. <laughs> I think the excitement and everything has just uh, went. It right is but a like bit the... shorter compared yeah. to the other ones, especially at the start. We were just like, we don't care about predictions, just win. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. That's just, but that was our mindset. Just win. We needed to just keep it in our 
like the fate in our hands for top six. So, and that's what we've done. It's, yeah. it's up to us whether we get top six, so. So unless Livingston somehow managed to fumble their 2-0 leads. Oh, that would be awesome. <laughs> that would be awesome. Uh, we... But we will try and get to the Perth game, uh, see if there's any tickets left available and hopefully we can get to it. But, um, yeah, anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the, the result. Uh, tell us in the stories if you had similar limbs going everywhere moment. Uh, hugging random people who you've never met before. And I, that's just that's what it is about football. That is what it is about football. Um, the block seven was, was brilliant all the way through. <laughs> On the train, Hearts fans were trying to say, Hibs did they start singing until the end of the match? Oh. Like, like I said to the boys, well, what's more likely to happen is that you're so surrounded by your own team singing, you can't hear the other Not only that, singing. I think you, you get tunnel vision. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because to be honest, we didn't hear the Hearts fans singing one single bit, but we are at the, the, the top of the stand behind Block 7. Yeah. So we are atmosphere central, <laughs> Easter Road. So um, anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully we see you in Perth. If not, we'll definitely see you hopefully in the top six matches. <laughs> and not the bottom six matches, but you never know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy your Saturday. On to the next one. Next one.